bunch of questions, uh, but I have to start, Millie, with the first question for you. Um, what do we need to do to get an Enola Home sequel? Uh, email Netflix. <laughs> Is there any plans for that? I hope so. If you know, Stephen, like text me, let me know. Because then I, I can open my schedule. I <laughs> completely understand um so this is this is kind of a jokey question but go with me um every time we write anything about godzilla versus kong uh every comment is why don't they just kiss so my big question is did, did director adam wingard ever tell you guys why godzilla and kong don't kiss Do, are they like different heights that'd be super awkward like would like king kong have to stand on like a little apple box maybe and it's like, i feel like godzilla would be very touchy with his four hands I feel like Godzilla would feel like a I don't. I wouldn't be making things like that, Julian. I feel like, no, I feel like Kong's a little bit like. Yeah. I think Maybe. Zilla's like, I, I, I think Zilla's like, wait a second. He's okay. kind of, he's kind of in the space. It's like. <laughs> By the way, I, I, I appreciate you guys doing that. Um, have either of you or both of you seen Atlanta? Yes. I'm yes, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rewatch it soon because I kind of, I remember when I first met Brian, I kind of skipped through it, and I just love him as Paperboy. He's amazing. Well, I wanted to ask you what it was like working with Paperboy. Um, it was so cool. I remember the, so it's like you know when you work with an actor and you've seen them in something before and you really enjoyed it. Well, I don't know if you know this, Stephen, but I'm assuming you do. You're an amazing guy. Anyway, um, I worked with an actor and I was like, oh, I don't want to say it because then I like, look like a fan. But I remember like a week and I was like, bro, like I've, I'm have i going to sit down and watch Atlanta, but I just want to say I've watched a few first episodes and you are amazing as Paperboy. And I love um, I love Donald Glover. Um, I just, bro, just, yeah, it's a really cool show. Yeah. Um, I really but by the way, Stephen, he says this, but he didn't watch Stranger Things until after the film. So he's like, I love Brian as Paperboy. Hey, what about me? Stranger Things was like so cool. It was so cool. The way you say it <laughs> immediately makes me think you're lying. Because I don't know, is the Demi-Gorgon the big thing in the sky or is that the, the little- Hey Steven, uh, hey Steven, did you like Stranger Things? Uh, I may or may not have watched Strange. I'm joking with you, of course. Stranger Things is fantastic. Please. I was about to be a kangaroo. Literally just be like fist up. I've been friendly with Sean for a long time and was supporting the show before it came out. And was like- Sean oh, Levy? Yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we were called Montauk. So if you knew us when we were called Montauk, you're a real one. I don't know about that, but I want to ask you guys, I got to switch back to the movie real quick. If you guys weren't in this movie, or even if just watching it as a fan, would you normally be rooting for Godzilla, or would you normally be rooting for Kong, and why? I would be rooting for if the you giant. Godzilla. Because the monkey is cool. He's swinging on his trees. He's doing everything. People already know this from the trailer. He has a giant axe, so he's a tool man. Call him Bob the Builder. This man is going crazy. That's why I like King Kong. But Godzilla in a small arms will do as well. Godzilla for the win. He's misunderstood. And people just need to understand the fact that he can't communicate like Kong can, you know? It's not his fault. Nobody taught him. How's he supposed to know? He's a loner. Godzilla. Under the sea. Under the sea. Everything's... Okay. Godzilla is in a midlife crisis. No, he's not. Okay. Absolutely, you're in a midlife crisis. Don't talk about my man's like I'm that. Into my midlife. I'm, I'm not even midlife. I'm not even half life. Well, you're going through a teenage crisis. Okay, we'll see it. Nobody's telling you. Yeah, oh, thank you. On that note, um, listen. Thank you guys so much. Bye, <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> good, good luck with the speed dating. Thank awesome. you. Yeah, On to the next.